In today's video, I will be going over how to get an amazing sound on the oboe. This is always the first thing I talk about in a first lesson with any student. It doesn't matter if someone comes to me and they've never played a note, if they've been playing for two years, five years, or 20 years. This is the absolute foundation of how I teach and I'm excited to share all these valuable playing tips with you. To those who don't know me, hi, I'm Ron and I post oboe videos every single week. I wanna encourage you to like this video and to subscribe to my channel for more oboe content and so you don't miss any of my new videos. I'm also on Instagram at oboron and I just got a Facebook page. So if you could take five seconds to uh, give me a like there, I'd greatly appreciate it. The link is in the description below. Back to our topic, which I describe as the seven steps to great oboe. By the way, I also made this into a beautiful PDF uh, which you can download. You can go to my website and download it instantly so you can follow along with the video or just use it as a reminder of the things you learned afterwards. The first step to great oboe is posture. What that means is if you're sitting down, you're sitting on your sit bones. You're not hunched over or leaning back so you're sitting on your tailbone. You want your legs to be uncrossed, feet flat on the floor, and you want your head resting gently on the top of your spine. Just to get a sense of how high your spine goes in your body, the top of it is as high as the roof of your mouth. <laughs> Having good posture when you play helps everything work better and more efficiently, and you're also minimizing your chance of injury from misuse. The second step is breathe. We breathe all the time, every day. So you don't need to learn something crazy or new. An exercise that I like to demo is, and you can do it now with me, is expel all your air and then wait 10 seconds. Make sure that all that air is out and you feel completely empty. And then when you're ready, inhale. You probably felt that automatic sensation of your body taking in air and your lungs expanding generously. Stay attuned to that feeling when you take a full breath to play the oboe. Step three is engage your abs. You may have heard of this as support, but I'm giving it to you in concrete terms. Engage your abdominal muscles, engage your lower back muscles, and engage your oblique muscles, which are your side muscles. What this does is it pushes the air at a higher velocity out of your lungs. So many problems are related to not supporting enough, including poor intonation, sharpness in particular. If you're on a like one to 10 scale of how much you are engaging your muscles, uh, one is like a couch potato and 10 is like you're doing your final set of crunches, playing the oboe is like seven out of 10. Okay, step four is where things start to get weird and I promise you this works, just bear with me. So narrow throat, okay. If you're an oboist and you've been taught open throat or you're an oboe teacher and you teach to play with an open throat, I would love to encourage you to come into this with an open mind and maybe give it a try. What this step entails is not like suffocating or choking or adding tons of tension to your throat. What it does mean is that we're focusing our air in the throat and we're funneling it there. It's the same sensation as when you're trying to whisper loudly, like, like a stage whisper. Your throat aperture varies widely as a human being, including while talking. I'm recommending playing the oboe with the throat in a more narrow position rather than a more open position. The throat is the primary valve that allows us to choose how much air will be going into the instrument and it affects tone, dynamics, colors, and more. Step five might be a weird one for you and it is one that I discuss in my video of teaching my husband how to play the oboe part two. That is high tongue. So your tongue is really big and you want your tongue to be high in the back of your mouth. So if you say R like a pirate, you should feel your top molars making contact with your tongue. Your tongue looks a bit like a slide, right? So high in the back and then sloping down near the reed so you can make contact with the reed when you articulate. The reason we want our tongue high in the back is to create more resonating room inside the mouth. Step six is blow to the bridge of your nose. This is a bit intangible, but you wanna think of your air direction as going past, up past the roof of your mouth to the bridge of your nose. This step adds depth and resonance to the sound as well, and is one of the biggest factors of ring in the tone. The final step, step seven, is the whistle embouchure. Just whistle and put your oboe reed in the embouchure. If you can't whistle, think of drinking a mango smoothie through a paper straw, because plastic straws are canceled. So you don't want to crush the straw by 
biting or else you won't get any smoothie. The corners of your mouth are pulled in and firm to create an airtight seal around the straw, but it doesn't require pressure. The caveat is that you can only really have a perfect embouchure when you're playing on reeds that function properly. If your reed is flat or overly vibrant, it invites you to bite it up to pitch or to smother it with the lips to help dampen the excessive vibrations. So for the next week, I wanna encourage you to try to incorporate all seven steps into your practicing and get back to me. Let me know in the comments if you have questions and I will get back to every single comment. As well, if you want that super sweet, well-designed cheat sheet PDF of all these steps that you can print out and refer back to while you're practicing, use the link below and download your own copy of my seven steps to great oboe. Thank you so much for joining me today and I hope that this is extremely helpful to you. Good luck on your oboe journey. Let me know in the comments if there's anything that you would like me to cover in a future video. Please subscribe and hit that thumbs up button below. It is so, so much appreciated. Additionally, if you're on Instagram, you can find me there at oboron. And don't forget to like my Facebook page if you didn't during the start of the video. Have a great day.